Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 30th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. A cold front went through last night after dark, so it was much colder today with temperatures only reaching the mid 40s. The winds were moderate out of the northwest and in the early morning it was cloudy, but then throughout the day it became mostly sunny. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so a small falcon and a lot of dark streaking underneath, so a small dark falcon flying in a very fast aggressive style is a merlin. Here we have a small raptor, we see rounded wingtips, so a hawk, not a falcon, we see a relatively long tail. And looking at the overall shape, this bird is somewhat compact, kind of a small head, kind of bulging secondaries to the wings. This is a sharp shinned hawk. Here we have a Budeo, and we see a relatively weak belly band on this bird, but we do see the dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, and just looking at the overall appearance, it seems very pale overall with no bold dark trailing edge to the wings, and kind of a brownish banded tail because this is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. We had a moderate number of bald eagles today with 18 migrating. Here we have an adult. Here we have another eagle, we see a large head, and we see a lot of splotchy white throughout the underside of this one. This is an immature bald eagle. This is an older immature, getting close to adult plumage. Here we have a small budio in a glide posture. We see pointed wingtips, and we see a dark tail with a wide white band. This is an adult broad-winged hawk. Here's a hawk that I spotted as it was overhead, but I didn't have my camera in my hands. I had to bend down and grab it from the chair, and the bird was going away by the time I was able to photograph it. But taking a look at this bird, overall it's a large exhibitor. We see a lot of streaking to the underside, and it looks like it goes down fairly far. We see kind of a wide tail with thin wavy banding, and we see somewhat tapered wingtips. This is an American goshawk. We had fun watching the activity around the nest boxes today. There were some tree swallows that were playing with a big white feather. And here we have an eastern bluebird with a mouthful of nesting material. We only had a few ospreys migrating, but we also had at least three of them hanging around the cell phone tower. Here we have a raptor going away. This is a budio, and we see a belly band and dark patagial bars. So this is another juvenile red-tailed hawk. But look at the full crop on this bird. So this bird has eaten something rather large recently. Here we have a somewhat large raptor with pointed wings and a distinctive facial pattern. This is a peregrine falcon, the fastest animal on the planet. And the barring to the underside indicate that it is an adult. And to round out the falcons, here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, but light coloration underneath because this is an American kestrel. And the kestrel flew and landed at the top of a tree, and underneath it in the tree were these two black squirrels. Today from the South Lookout, we had a total of 44 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 30 turkey vultures, 2 ospreys, 18 bald eagles, we had 2 northern harriers, and 9 sharp shinned hawks, and 1 American goshawk. We had 59 broad-winged hawks, 24 red-tailed hawks, one merlin, and one peregrine falcon for a total of 147 migrating raptors. That brings the final April total to 59,955 and the season total to 78,258. To put that April total into perspective, this year we were right around 60,000, looking back at the previous couple Aprils, 44,000, 32,000. There's a couple that are higher here, we have a 61,000 and a 62,000, a couple more in the 30 to 35,000 range, 47,000, even a low year in 2016 with only 17,000. So overall a really high April total again that followed our record March total. So really high numbers so far this season and let's hope it continues into May. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, there will be cloudy skies, although maybe a little bit of sunshine in the early morning, a high in the mid-60s, and winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Although if you look at the hourly, it's mostly showing lower than that, maybe more 7, 8, getting as high as 10 miles per hour. So it's a good wind direction for us. Those southeasterly winds are usually good for keeping the raptors low and right over the north lookout. So I think tomorrow should be a pretty good day, especially with the number of sharp shinned hawks at Braddock Bay had the other day. Hopefully some of those are still in the pipeline for us and it could be a good sharpie flight in the morning. 
For Friday, there will be showers in the morning and then partly cloudy with a high in the low 60s. Winds will start southwest and shift around to west-northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So Friday has those good winds in the morning, but it looks like rain may hold back the flight a bit. And then less rain for the afternoon with the wind shifting to a less favorable direction. So we'll keep an eye on Friday. It's a little bit hard to predict right now. And for Saturday, they're calling for showers early, becoming a steady rain and a high in the mid-50s and light north-northwesterly winds. We'll probably be down at the south lookout and would only expect light migration. All right, another really nice day out at the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. Today was a bit of a recovery day for me after the busy day yesterday, so I got to sleep in a little bit. And then it really turned into a, a pleasant day to be out. A tad bit chilly, but overall a nice day to be out in the sun and some nice visitors and good conversation. And of course, any day you get a goshawk is a good day. And we should have some more good days coming up soon, like tomorrow out at Derby Hill. So I hope you can come visit us soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.